Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. In fact, this is video number 99. That's right folks, video number 99. Next video, I'll go ahead and show you all that single ring in action, which I'll admit I've used once, but the shave didn't go so well and I'll get into that in a few. The razor functioned fine, shaved fine, just the blade and razor combo wasn't the greatest. And I'll explain that in a minute. Anyways, so as you see, it's an injector hit shave. The razor, of course, is a Schick injector. And as you can see, it's nice and long, got this nice long handle. And it's got this little dial on the back, which makes this the Type M adjustable injector. One second, guys. Anyways, that's the razor. The soap I'm going to be using is one I got from my friend Christian a while back, a while ago. He went ahead um, before Thanksgiving. Sorry about that. Ended up giving me a box of some stuff, and in it was this. This is the Lather and Woods um, Sandalwood Shaving Cream. It's got just a beautiful, lovely, beautiful sandalwood scent. Um, I really like it. The brush is going to be my um, turn in shave, 24 millimeter. Not sure what the knot is, 24 millimeter knot, in what I believe he calls his bishop handle. It's before Milton started putting the coin on the bottom, so it's an early turn in shave. And it's just, I mean, I just love this handle design. Got your ball, you know, where the knot goes in up here, this ridge, and it curves down. Feels just great in the hand. Nice, nice acrylic handle. Great weight. So, we'll go ahead and lather up, and I'll go ahead and pause the video here, and I'll be back in a second after I go ahead and work the lather up here in my timeless lather bowl. Before I get lathering, the soap, it's medium firmness. You can dent it if you stick your finger in it. And since strength is pretty close to medium, when it's lathered up, it just smells absolutely, absolutely wonderful. So let's go ahead and wet the face. And we'll go ahead and throw on some PAA cube and get shaven. Today I'm wearing a uh, Chicago Bears football jersey that my brother Curtis gave me, number 75. I'm not as big of a fan of football as I once was because, well, when you're watching a wrestling match, that's one thing. Um, the color commentary is, you know, just a few guys, depending on what, uh, two to however many guys, depending on the type of match but a football game it's just not quite as enjoyable when you can't see it I used to watch football whenever I got the chance not so much anymore unfortunately but it is what it is Now wrestling, <laughs> that's a different story. Color comment. <clears throat> Carry on wrestling is normally pretty good for the big promotions. A little rough when you go to a live show and you can't see because you don't hear the color commentators, you know, sitting there telling you, oh, he just did a back body drop or a power slam. Or Now this soap, it is a thirsty soap. In fact, first time I used it, I kept out dipping the tips, dipping the tips, dipping the tips in my little water bowl that I keep next to the sink. That I just put enough water in for dipping the tips in. And uh, it wasn't had enough moisture, so I just finally, because I, have a bowl in my sink I use, Tupperware, like a Cool Whip bowl, that I, uh, it's 
still need a little water. That I use for instant razors, so I just finally was like, screw it. Oh man, there went my little bowl. Oh well. So I just went ahead and I submerged the knot with my brush under the water. Or, no, actually, I got a bunch of wire in my hand, just poured it over the top of the knot. That's better. But the leather on this leather and wood soap is absolutely stellar. Oh, this one just went up my nose. Damn. Runs off the handle here. Drop that back in my bowl. There we go. Oops. I'd like to welcome a new subscriber to the channel, and it is Sledhead. If you haven't seen any of his videos, pretty cool guy on camera. Um, great, really, really just a great YouTuber. Um, I want to say to you, Sledhead, welcome very much. To the channel. Oh yeah. Oh, the blade in this is on its second use, and it is a Schick injector blade. Yeah. I... Use that single ring. Um... For the first time, and I paired it with a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade, and it felt a little rough. And uh, that's why I haven't made a video yet since I shaved with it, because I had to be real delicate around here because. And or basically most of my left cheek because after I used it I broke out with multiple clusters of ingrown hairs on it on the cheek what about five Maybe six clusters of ingrown hairs on the left cheek and a couple of them on the chin. And well, one on the chin and one down here along the bottom of the jaw. So, any shaving, <clears throat> pardon me, any shaving I did do was. bit slow on that side because I pretty much had to shave around it the area oh, yeah and that got me pretty good first pass I've got about three days four days of growth Rinse off. Not sure if I mentioned it, but that Schick Type M goes up to setting 8. 
and I've got it on setting five right now. You just turn the little dial to the number you want and it just adjusts it. I ended up getting it for an early, well, yeah, a couple of days early actually. Um, from my son for Christmas. Oh, my girlfriend, she picked it out. My son's sick, so she knows what I like when it comes to shaving stuff. So she picked it out, and it was in his name. And if you're a parent, you yeah, understand. <laughs> the whole thing with kids and gifts for the parents and grandparents. Or siblings, whatever. We only got the one son. So, I got one more razor I got for Christmas. I was going to use tonight, but I wanted to use the injector. It's a double edge, the other one. So. Lovely, lovely, lovely scent on this Lathering Woods. And that turn and shave brush is just a wonderful, wonderfully, a wonderful synthetic. I love that, sh I love that turn and shave brush. It's probably one of my top five brushes when it comes to my synthetics, which that's pretty much what I mostly own. I ain't one of these big fancy folks that got the money to go out and buy the $200 badgers. Cross the growth. I find myself when I'm doing that underneath the jaw, I've got to hold my pinky finger under the end of the handle. It is very, very long. Which I believe shake went ahead if I remember correctly. Um, you know It was built in the, you know, rolled out in the 70s. And um, or it was rolled out in the 70s. And uh, I'd love to find a case for it. My Type G, I got a case for that. I'd love to find a case for this because I guess they did like they did with the red adjustables. Put the little magnifying glass at the dial. So, anyways, good second pass. Um, There we go. Rinse off and do a third pass. If you're subscribed to Christopher Bailey, CDB, I am CDB, he went ahead and tonight, which by the way, guys, I hope you all had a happy Easter. Um, We really didn't do a lot here. Um, 
because of the situation in the world. We went ahead and gave our son a homemade Easter basket, told him the Easter Bunny um, couldn't come out this year because of everything going on. So it's him being six years like, okay, so. But uh, Chris Bailey went ahead and he's the third person I saw do it. The first person I saw do it was Jill. If she shares with Jill, the second one was Jill Fatboy. Um, but basically, Chris blindfolded himself and did a 100% blindfolded shave from beginning to end. That included loading the blade into the razor. Um, wrapping the blade to put in the razor so pre-shaved cube from razor rock lathering up everything the soap's got pretty good slickness too these injectors are just such smooth, smooth shaving razors. I got the Type A repeater from the 1920s. The Type G from the 40s. 500 Hydro Magic, I believe, it was the 50s. And this one. But yeah, so looking forward to the next shave. I'm going to use the blade that's different than that Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Oh. Buff that a little. Nobody's going too stir crazy with this virus, with everything going on in the world. And um, if you were affected by it, my heart goes out to you. It really does. A lot of people are getting affected in really bad ways from it. And, um, it sucks, but, you know. It's so unfortunate. And it's one of those things where you can't just shrug and say, well, it is what it is. Because it's affecting so many. Um, Zach Favlita, Favlita. 
one of the admins of Razor and Brush, Zach Pavlidis, Pavlidis. I always screwed his name up. Zach, if you see it, I apologize. Um, he lives out there in New York. He's an essential worker. And he did a video putting on his Facebook group on the Razor and Brush. And him driving through the streets of New York, going across the, you know, across the bridge into New Jersey. And man, it was like driving through a ghost town. Anyway, let's see. I'm happy with that. Got a couple little spots. I'll clean them up off camera. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clean up these couple little spots. And, um, and after that, we'll go ahead and cut away and do the album. <laughs> Sled had watched my that head shave that I did a while back. Um, I actually gotta get back into the Chevettes, but he commented, that's too much blood for me. And um, of course he put an LOL at the end of it. So I was like, did I cut myself on that one? And Watched it over and had my girlfriend check it out. And yeah, I put a good old cut on both sides of my noggin and she said it was bleeding pretty good. Of course, with my head wet from the shave, I couldn't tell. But uh, I guess I got myself good. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that now. Anyway, yeah, so. I'm going to go ahead and rinse off, and I'll see you back here for the alum. Old Spice alum. Alum stick. Let's see how bad my face barks. Not bad. No, not bad at all. Some tingling. A little bit on your neck. A little on the top lip. Tiny bit on the chin, but the cheeks, hardly any at all. All right, that's good. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for a minute, and I'll rinse off, and I'll see you all back here for the post. Pretty good head shave. Uh, I got clamp right there. I missed a whole patch of hair right there. But um, I'll get that in a minute. But the face came out great, nice and smooth. Um, Schick injectors are really smooth shavers. Um, at least what the four I have are, and they make a pretty good DE too, or made a pretty good DE. The Corona. I have a '65 Corona. Some of you have probably seen it. Um, for my newest subscribers. That hasn't. Um, Corona's a really nice shaver. And, um, but yeah, injectors and Coronas, they, they do a pretty good job. Schick, Schick, they went ahead and they made a pretty good, good single edge and a pretty darn decent double. Anyways, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Getting close to being out. It's like I told my girlfriend two months ago, I'm gonna need more witch hazel. And, okay, and she forgot to grab it and it lasted. It and earlier this month, I said, I think I'm gonna need more witch hazel this month, babe. Okay, I'll get it. She ended up getting me a fresh bottle of it. And uh, still got a bit left. So, but at least I got the backup. So, anyways. Uh, Nice, very nice. Um, the brush, turn and shave, wonderful brush, wonderful handle. 
nice handle, feels great in the hand. The knot's just really, really wonderful, soft knot. And um, the soap, lather and woods. Mm, I can still smell it on my face. I love that stuff. Um, let's see. Let's go with the Arcadia from Sterling. Oh, this stuff I got. You know, I got about a third of a bottle left. It's a pretty good match. I think it's uh, got a pretty good scent. Ought to pair well with the with the soap. If you ain't tried a Sterling bomb, you really ought to. They're great bombs. They absorb quick. Really leave the face feeling great. The post shave on that soap is pretty good, but I've got a lot of dry skin issues going on, so I put it on my on my face. And on my head, so of course I'm gonna be, you know, reshaping, so But yeah, I was, you know, I thought Chris did a pretty good job on that blindfolded shave. Can't remember if I said I did or not, if I said that or not, but I thought he did a good job. I desperately want one of those Lancaster Razor Works black sheet towels. Um, Next batch that comes out, I'm going to try and get one. I need 21 bucks to have it delivered to your door. Pretty good price. And I mean, plush, plush thick, um, what do you call it? Microfiber? Sounds like a really, really good, uh, really, really good towel. The aftershave is from Hot Clubman. Let the alcohol dissipate, uh, evaporate low. Still got a bit of a burn. Anyways, everybody, thank you for joining me. Hope you all have been having spectacular shaves. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you to those who have been here for a while. Thank you to those of you who went ahead and figured, you know what, I'll subscribe to a blind guy and see how he does. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Um, I appreciate it. Uh... And I hope all of you had a happy Easter. And uh, I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.